Hello, we are the Watumka High School Green Power Electric Car Team. We compete in Green Power races with our cars 106, the Golden Arrow, 107, the Tomahawk, and 108, Dreamcatcher. For this presentation, we will be covering 106 and 107 only. 108 will be covered in a separate video. Our team is broken into divisions, all of which are vital to the success of the team. We have our business team, drivers, pit crew, and crew chiefs, which act as the leaders of the team and lead development on their respective car. First, our business team is responsible for advertising our cars, recruiting sponsors, and finding new employees. They are also responsible for creating and maintaining our business plan, which is a critical asset for our business to function properly. The business team also encompasses all cars, not just any specific car we have. Next, we have our drivers. They are responsible for driving the car during races and testing the cars following any maintenance. This isn't as easy as one might think. They're subject to extreme heat or cold depending on the season. They also have to have extreme knowledge of how the cars work so they can communicate with the pit crew in case something was to happen during traffic. Next, we have our pit crew. They are responsible for keeping our cars maintained inside and outside of races. They do it all from swapping out the drivers to modifying or fixing the car when something goes wrong. While every job on the team is important, having a pit crew is critical to the success of our team because without them, the cars will not be ready to compete. The crew chiefs are the hinge pins of the team. They are chosen based on their experience with the team and trained as a pit crew. They keep the team on the right track by keeping everyone focused and working as well as communicating with the team during races. They are also responsible for making any large mechanical or design changes to our cars. One of the secrets to our team's success is that we treat our team like we would an actual business. Not only does this prepare us for the future, but it also keeps us focused on the success of our team beyond winning races. The Wetumpka High School Nerds is a student-led organization established as a nonprofit corporation in Wetumpka, Alabama, with the expectation of rapid expansion in the STEM industry. We have an 18-year history of success, competing at the local, regional, state, and national levels in a variety of STEM competitions over the last nine years, including Best Robotics, Gearsef Science Fair, Paper Reading, Science Olympiad, TARC Rocketry, Innovate AFITC, AFA Cyber Patriot, and of course, Green Power Electric Car. As for Green Power, we compete in the F24 division. Our company has 40 employees and is divided into three main divisions, being business, engineering, and drivers. Our mission is to establish a STEM culture in Wetumpka High School while empowering the team members to become competent, confident, and self-directed problem solvers. At the start of each new year, we review our business plan and set our team-wide, division-wide, and our individual goals for the year. Our business plan includes determining which events our team will compete in, planning and publishing a team calendar and schedule, planning recruitment and documenting all events and processes for team history and consistency. The primary documentation we use is ISO documentation, which we'll talk about later. Our two main goals for this year are to race in all three divisions of Green Power F24 and have success in all the competitions we take part in. Our team is working towards an agile business process. In order to keep every division on the same page, we hold daily scrum meetings, where leaders inform the entire company about what their team has accomplished, and then inform them about what they're preparing to do next. Because all these divisions work together, we use the Google Suite, Office 365, and Remind 101 messaging to keep everybody informed and able to share information easily, no matter what division of the company is working on it. As a business, even a nonprofit, funding is still very essential to us. So a budget is necessary to build a framework for our company's finances and ensures we are spending our money wisely and efficiently through our careful documentation of all expenses and fundraisers. The cost for competing in our various STEM competitions is about $1.5,000 a month or $18,000 yearly. We raise funds to support all our STEM efforts through our sponsorships from local companies, families, and alumni, as well as selling our iconic products, like these nerd t-shirts here, along with holding team bake sales. This year, with an added cost of updating the car's bodies, along with the increase in travel expenses, we highly promoted our new fundraising event, Photos with Santa. This event, held in November, added $2,000 for expenses, but produced a significant return on investment for our team earning us a net profit of $2,200 across three days. 
So far, we've made $17,736 in total for our team's budget, and we are projected to continue to receive more income from our sponsors and fundraisers. Sponsors are recognized by their team and or logo on our team shirts, website, and on both our cars and team trailer, along with sponsor slots in our Green Power videos. The business plan also requires us to find ways to interest and recruit new members. We do this by advertising our team at the annual 8th grade elective fair, a presentation event where 8th grade students come to the high school to learn about the different electives the students can choose from for when they enter high school. We require our team to document all events and processes for archival purposes, as well as for the team's consistency. This simulates ISO documentation, which is similar to what a business would do in the real world. This year, our starting Green Power team has expanded in team members, and we're hosting the first ever Green Power race held on Wetumpka, the Indian Trail. Our team goal is to have success in all competitions. With Green Power, we're aiming to place in the top five with the Golden Arrow and top three with the Tomahawk at the National Green Power F24 competition, which is held at Talladega Super Speedway. The four areas that our team is focusing on are our new front hood design, battery monitoring, alignment, and motor heat monitoring. With the new body requirements, the side panels of our car were replaced with an aluminum composite material, which led us to also change our front hood design. For the first race, we used a thin plastic material, but weren't satisfied with the lack of improvement. Instead of using the same material for the hood, we decided to use a carbon fiber vinyl sheet. This improved the looks and helped reduce drag when compared to the plastic material we were previously using. One of the most critical parts of an electric car is the energy source or battery. Battery maintenance and monitoring will preserve our batteries for longer and more effective use. Taking baseline readings of the volts and amps used during practices and races can give us good feedback on how well the batteries are performing, as well as measuring reliability and maximum charge capacity, along with discharge rate when under load. Alignment refers to the adjustment of a vehicle's suspension. This includes changing things such as camber, tow, and caster. To improve our car's alignment, the steering rods were replaced and the cars were aligned and adjusted to the desired amount of camber, tow, and caster. The alignment will need to be checked and adjusted each practice and the final alignment is dependent on the track we race on. In previous races, we always use the same squeeze test on our tires without recording any data or seeing if different pressure affected performance. We're experimenting with varying the air pressure per track to see if this gives us better traction and closer monitoring for our air pressure on our tires is the first step to helping us with the right balance of traction with tire wear. Understanding how our cars respond to changes that our team makes is critical to our success. We need to know if a certain change that we made has a positive or negative impact, and this is where collecting data comes in. Samples of data that we collect are lap speeds, lap count, and the motor temperatures, along with the amps and volts of our batteries. At every driver change, we record the new data and then compare it to our previously recorded data. Race Monitor helps us to record our data from the actual races, giving us lap count and time for each lap. We record these in an Excel spreadsheet and use them to track improvement in car efficiency, race to race, and year to year. Each element of our team's process plays a critical role in ensuring that we achieve our goal of not only becoming a successful team, but also a successful business. 